Today we're going to be creating a cute animation in Procreate Dreams. Here are the assets I made in Procreate. They're just some cherries here. Uh, I've got the cherries on separate layers. I've got the faces on separate layers. And the leaves are on separate layers too. So basically everything is on a separate layer. What I'm going to do is go over to Dreams here. We're going to start a new uh, canvas here by clicking on the little plus sign in the top right corner. We're going to make this an HD movie, so I'm just going to leave it at empty right now. Okay, and there is our canvas ready to go. Now we're going to import our Procreate files over into Procreate Dreams. And I will provide all of these assets for you over on the Patreon page. So if you're interested in going to get everything that you need to follow along, then go check out the Patreon. And I've changed the Patreon recently to... Um, it's just one tier now, and it's for both websites. So uh, the Scribble and Scribe website, that's basically traditional material art. And this channel here, Channel Does Art, which is basically digital art. All right, so let's take this and make sure we move it around. Hit the home key. We're going to go into Dreams, and we're going to drop that right into there. All right, and let me move it around where I want it. I think that is good. All right, and the next thing we need to do is hold our finger down on the track here, and we need to convert layers to tracks. All right, what that's going to do is going to create a group, and then all of our layers are going to be intact right there. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to animate these end cherries to go up and down, kind of like the, I don't know what that thing's called, but uh, you see on people's desks, the little marbles, and you pick it up and drop it, and it hits them, and then it knocks the other one off, so we're just going to do that little animation. But we're going to be using cherries today. All right, so I want to probably gonna start with this cherry over here, and I think it's, no, not that one. It will be this one right here. All right, and we're going to do this by doing keyframes. I think that's the easiest way to control everything. So I'm going to click on the little clacker there. We're going to hit move and we're going to move and scale. And that's going to set our first keyframe that's going to be in that position right there. Now I want these to be, actually before we do that, let's go change our parameters here. So if you click on the file name here, we're going to change our frames per second to 12. And the duration we're going to change to 8 seconds. And then we need to click on that one right there and hit the backspace and it'll get rid of that one minute. And hit done. And everything else should be okay. Done. So now we have 8 second animation. Okay, so our first cherry right here. So we've set, we set that first keyframe. So we're going to come out what are we at here? Going to kind of spread this out a bit. Uh, we're going to come out to about maybe 0.7 seconds. And then we need to click on the three little dots right there and we need to edit our anchor point. We need to stick this anchor point right up here on the leaf so it'll rotate from there. All right, the next thing we need to do is hit done. All right, and then click on the edge until you get that little curve line. One more time. And we're gonna rotate them up, and then we're gonna go out to about the one second mark, or a little bit past one second, and Click on it again, and we're going to bring that down till it's back in its original position. All right, so we got boom, boom. All right, and now what we need to do is we need to go to that other cherry. So I got him on the very bottom here. 
I believe that's him right there. Yep. So we're going to go boom. We're going to hit it right there. We're going to hit move in scale. We need to set this anchor point to be up by the leaf. So rotate from that position. Hit done. And then he hits right there. So we're going to go out about half a second. Make him go up. Move it over about another half a second. We'll move him back down. All right, let's see what that looks like. Boom. Boom. All right, very good. Actually, we could probably move that a little bit closer. He's, I don't like the timing of that. That's better. All right. Okay, so now we need to go back to the other cherry. And then as soon as he hits, we're going to make him set that keyframe there. And we're going to go out about half a second. Make him go up again. Another half a second. And we'll make him go back down. Okay, see what that looks like. Kind of pause there a little bit. I didn't like that. Make him go up a little bit quicker. Mm. That's fine. It doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, as soon as he hits right there, we'll set that keyframe. We're going to go out about half and move him up again. Go about five. And we'll click on him again. Well, that didn't work right. What happened there? Yeah, something's wonky. So he hits. Let me do that again. We'll delete those two keyframes. So if you're enjoying the content, I have a small favor to ask that makes a huge difference. Subscribing to my channel is like giving a virtual high five and it means the world to me. When you hit that subscribe button, you're not just supporting the channel, you're joining an incredible community of awesome people who love art just as much as you do. Imagine being part of something bigger where every view, like, and comment helps us grow and reach more awesome folks just like you. Plus, subscribing is super easy. It's just one click, but that one click has a ripple effect, helping me create more content, bringing new ideas to life, and spreading positivity all around. And hey, in the spirit of kindness, how about this? Subscribe and then go out and do something nice for someone today. Hold the door open for a stranger, leave a kind note for a coworker, or simply smile at someone who looks like they need it. Let's make the world a bit brighter together. So what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button and let's make amazing things happen. Thank you for your support. You're the reason this channel exists. I think that's okay.
Yep. All right. So just keep doing that over and over. I'm probably not going to show every single bit of this because it's just same thing over and over. So I'm going to come down and when he hits, now I'm going to move this other one. Set our keyframe. I'm going to come out about five second or half a second and make him go up. Come out about half a second again and make him go back down. So next what we want to do is I'm going to do those faces in the middle. So I've got all the faces on the three cherries in the middle that don't move on the same layer just to make it a much easier to animate. So we're going to start off with these guys in the center where they're at right now. So we're going to hit move, move and scale. And then as this cherry goes up, these little guys faces are going to move over to the left. So I'm going to hit it again here, and I'm going to slide them over to there. So they're just going to be following as that cherry moves. And then when he comes back down, we're going to have him come back to the middle. And then that one's going to go up, so we're going to make him move to the right. And then when they come back down, they're going to go back to the middle, and we're just going to keep doing that over and over again. So at the peak of the turn, move those guys over and coming down, we'll move them back to the center and just over and over. All right, let's see what that looks like. Yep, that's good. All right, so now the only last thing we need to do is we need to animate the faces on the ends here. So we're going to start with the guy up top here. So we're going to move him at the peak. Actually, we need to set the keyframe first. Move, move and scale. Take him to the top right there. And let's see if this keeps up with it. Let's see if that worked. Yeah. Could be a little bit better actually. Yeah, that's better. Well, that one, okay. I think I'm just gonna do it a little bit at a time. That's easier, I think. Wait a minute, I'm not setting keyframes. Yeah, that's good. So I'm just going to do all of this guy's face. No, oh, we already made it. All right. All right, so you're going to do that cherry on the right now face. 
So we might make his face move over a little bit. Following the other ones. No. If you get too close to it, it's going to resize it. So be careful. I don't know why that playhead seems to be like snapping. I don't like that because you can't like fine tune it. All right, and that is it. I hope this has helped you guys. It was a kind of a fun tutorial, something really quick. I'll leave the final animation here at the end. I want to thank everybody for joining me. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Hit the little bell icon to get notified when I upload new videos. And also don't forget to go check out the other channel called Scribble and Scribe. All the links will be down below. And I will see you guys next week for another Procreate Dreams or Procreate Dreams tutorial. Take care.